Welcome back. <laughs> I wanted to read something to you guys um, that I think is very important, and this definitely pertains to me. And I just want to see who can resonate with what I'm about to read. So it says, stop. My friend and I sat in the sand near the ever rhythmic ocean. As the sun sank into the distance, wave after wave curled. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pause and then rippled tor towards our extended toes, stopping just short of each time. I love the ocean, she smiled. It moves so I don't have to. What a thought. So many of us struggle to just stop. We do, 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 and go, go, go. Somehow afraid that if we cease our efforts, we'll cease to be. Or that by stopping, we'll expose ourselves to the ever-present realities we work to keep at bay. In Psalm 46, 8 and 9, God flexes his omnipotent muscles, putting his power on display. Come and see what the Lord has done. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shield with fire. God is a busy God who works to create calm within the chaos of our days. Later in verse 10, we read, be still and know that I am God. Of course, there is possible. Of course, it's possible to know God while running here and there. But the psalmist's invitation to see striving calls us to a different type of knowing. A knowing that we can stop and be still because God never stops. A knowing that it's God's power that gives us ultimate value, protection, and peace. So here's the question. It's like an action question to put what we've read into action. What do you need to stop doing right now in order to find rest? That's question number one. Number two, how might you practice this? I'm gonna speak for me. Hi, my name is Maya and I'm an overthinker. I am a worrier, I am a concerner. I am, if you've seen Inside Out 2, I am anxiety. Hello, that's me. That is me. Um, That's me. I can take something that is very small and make it very big because I always think of the plan B. I'm always thinking about next week, next year, never really living just in the moment. Um, another example of the things that I do, like I can go on a cruise, um, go out of town somewhere, go to a beach, and I'm observing people. And I'm like, how, and this is just what I do, tell me, am I the only one? How is it that she can wear that bathing suit and she's not fit? Am I a judger? Yes, I'm a judger. You're a judger, we're all judging, right? How can, why would she wear that bathing suit? Or why did she wear those shoes? Or the list goes on. When really it's just, my own insecurity about my own body, how I'm judging others. It's hard for me to just be still because on the flip side, that person who's wearing the, the cute little bathing suit, she may not have the body for it, but she's out there frolicking in the waves and she's having a grand old time and I'm sitting on the sand judging, not having fun at all. Sometimes my mind races so much that it's even hard for me to go to sleep. It's so hard for me to be still. But let me explain to you guys something. Some, sometimes God has to get up all up in your business like for real and disrupt some things for you to finally get it. Hello, my name is Amaya and I am hard-headed. But they, you know what they say, a hard head makes a soft let me see who's texting me right quick. Okay. 
So I don't know if you remember about a month or so ago, I had to wear what I call the Iron Man. So my doctor can kind of look at my heart and make sure everything is okay. Hello. The most humbling four weeks of my entire life. What I gathered from all of that, and no, I didn't get my results back, but my doctor reassured me that everything is fine. That was just for precautionary measures. But what I've learned about wearing the Iron Man is that I need to slow down. Slow down. And not just slow down in the things that I do feel in touch, but slow down in the brain. So my husband can tell you there's a lot that I've just backed off from doing, backed off from thinking. I just backed off. I'm not that girl anymore. You don't want to wash those dishes? Whereas before, I would flip out. Now, my bills will be paid on time. The household bills, I'm, you know. It's just stuff that got to be done right, right? You know, I mean, just, I don't care like that anymore. Because at the end of the day, we are just strangers passing through this thing called life. Our real home is heaven. It's not even here. So I'm going to stop acting like I'm going to be here forever because I'm not. Now, it, it doesn't mean I don't handle my responsibilities it doesn't mean, you know, I don't be consistent in the things that I should be consistent in. But if anything that I do brings me a little amount of stress that can affect my mental health, I'm staying away from it. I am staying away from it. I serve a God that is always moving always busy, doing things behind the scenes. He did not call me to be a busybody. No. So I'm not going to do it anymore. Now, I'm at work right now. I'm going to actually, I'm actually at a break. Um, yeah, I'm going to get my work done. But everything else... It's just not bit that big of a deal anymore. So I'm going to ask you, what do you need to stop doing right now in order to find rest? And how may you practice this? My prayer is that we learn to embrace the rest in Christ. That every decision that we make, we filter through Christ because everything that comes from and out of Christ is perfect. My prayer is that we consider him first before anyone else or anything else. That we pause and take a moment to be grateful for our life because tomorrow it can be gone. In the next two or three minutes, I can be gone. We can be gone. <sighs> Tell me what you think. Let's think about it. And you know what? This is going to be our five mindful minutes. I'm going to go ahead and just respond to some emails. Let's take five minutes to just absorb what was read, right? And what we're going to do differently. Let's go.
and that's five minutes. So I would love to hear how you're going to start today making some changes in your life. Um, I'm not perfect at making changes, but I do my best. Like I'm sure you're going to do your best. I have a new workout for us to do um, this evening, so keep an eye out on that. Um, we're working it low and slow. No stress. Okay? I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later on this evening. Ciao.